Understanding where the value lies in your business for your customers is really, really important. Really important for your strategy, really important for your value propositions. And that's where the product surround becomes a really useful tool. So the concept of the product surround is, is whatever you do as the core of your business only really affects for 20% of the value to the customer, yet conversely probably is 80% of the cost um, of running your business. Whereas the things that you wrap around your core product offering, your core business, um, probably only add up another 20% of your costs, but actually equal about 80% of the value to the customer. So you can think of that in the context of an accountant, you know, being an accountant, you know, just a, a basic, simple, no frills accountant, 80% of your costs will be in that, but the extra services you wrap around that that probably cost you very little is probably where most of the value your customers see in what you do. So how do you build your own products around? So the key here is to start with the market. So look around um, at the market you're working and ask yourself, you know, what are the customers in our market saying about businesses like ours, businesses that operate in this space? You know, what are the issues? What are the challenges with working with organizations like you? What are the things they want that they can't get? What do they really value? Just really brainstorm out as many almost comments as you can think of that people that you want to sell services to would say about businesses like you, like, like yours, like your competition. Etc. And then what you can start to do is start to say to yourself, what can we build around our core offering that would start to interface with those things, that would start to, to satisfy those, um, those requirements, start to counter those objections, those issues, those challenges with working like businesses like ours. So just to give you a couple of real life examples, so this is a this is a real life example of probably one of the first gyms that moved to the, the gym model that we see today of 24-7, et cetera, et cetera. You know, and they went to market and then they, there was those, all the comments that we would probably recognize of gyms uh, of, of times gone by, too crowded, full of muscle bound monkeys, you know, not open when I want, locked into long contracts, and you can read the, the comments on the screen here, all those types of things. So that, that's what forced them you know, down the road. We said, oh, what we really need to do, and you know, by the way, this was a business that was about to go bust, yet is now one of the largest, largest gyms in the world. You know, we need to be open 24 seven. We need to get rid of contracts. We need to maybe create family memberships to, to encourage you know, a, a wider demographic into the, into the organization. This particular model, they killed classes because classes, all they did was swamp the gym when they finished. You know, there was, so there's a whole bunch of things that they could do. And so some of those things you'll recognize in many, many gyms today that basically completely changed the proposition for the, uh, for the customer and actually turned, not only turned this business around, as I said, but actually saw a huge global expansion for them and actually saw most, most gyms around the world copy the model. Yeah, and even you know you'll probably recognise when you look at this, you know, when when we're doing this recording. But you know, you look at in this model, you know, around a corporate catering business, you know, in a world where customers are at home, customers are tired of cooking, and I'm struggling to retain chefs. You know, suddenly you can start to build things around your your model that are very very different. You know, interfacing with delivery companies, outsourcing your core production of cooking, and now a whole bunch of things that you can do when you start to really assess the world from the outside in rather than from your world out. So that's the product surround. Remember that you know, what you do holds less of the value for your customers in comparison to the cost uh, for you to run that business. It's what you wrap around your core business and your core offering that customers truly value and often doesn't cost you as much to deliver.